Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on how I get this cut crease look, which is basically my go-to for like weddings, funerals, graduations. This is my go-to makeup for anything. I just basically changed the lip and boom, I fit the occasion. So anyways, I want to thank you guys for like the support. Like the support is real. And I just really, really, really appreciate it. Like, this has been, like, a tough week. So, like, doing videos is, like, keeping me sane and keeping my mind off of things. And this is honestly becoming, like, a... It's, like, a stress reliever. Now I'm just gonna get started on the video. And here we go. I'm gonna start off using my NYX concealer in the color Glow as an eyeshadow base. And then I'm just going to, after I apply it, I'm just going to blend that with the Beauty Blender and then set it in place with my Air Sun Translucent Powder. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler Palette, I'm going to take the shade Morocco and just use that as my transition color. So now I'm going to take the shade Fudge and basically place that directly on top of Morocco. While applying the color Fudge, I'm also making sure that I use my blending brush and blend it into my crease so that there won't be any harsh lines. Now I'm going to take my MAC eyeshadow in the color Espresso and place that directly in my crease with the brush that came in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Using my Morphe M326 brush in this black shade from the World Travelers palette, I'm just going to outline my crease. And then I'm just going to blend that out using both sides of the brush that came in the World Traveler's palette. So now taking my NYX concealer again and this concealer brush, I'm just going to place the concealer along my eyelid and basically go under where I placed originally placed the black eyeshadow. So now using my Bobbi Brown Eye University palette, I'm going to take this pink shade which is called Antique Rose and place that on top of the concealer. Using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner, I'm going to draw a thin line along my top lash line and then do a short wing. So now I'm going to apply lashes and the lashes I'm using are from Lily Lashes to the South Goddess and I'm just going to put duo adhesive on it and use my fingers because I can't find my tweezers so yeah. Now I'm going to take my Lights Camera Flashes mascara and apply that to my top lashes just to blend it out. And this is basically my usual foundation routine, so I'm not really going to explain this part. So just watch it. So 
the concealer shade that I'm using right now is Fawn and then my MAC foundation color is NC50. And the concealer that I'll be using in a minute to contour, the color is Mahogany. So I'm going to line my bottom waterline with this black eyeliner from Jordana and then I'm going to go in with eyeshadow. So the first color I'm going to use is the fudge shade and I'm using a pencil brush and I'm just going to smudge that into my bottom waterline, well underneath my bottom waterline. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Morocco, which was the pink shade used before. I'm going to place that directly under my fudge color. Now taking the shade cream from my Eyes University palette, I'm just going to place that in the, in the corners of my eye. And then I'm going to wipe off the remaining powder. So now taking my MAC Studio Fix powder in the color NW58, I'm just going to apply that to all the spots that I previously contoured. And using my MAC blush in the color Raisin, I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. So now using my Cheeky Bronze Highlighter from MAC, I'm just going to apply that to the highest parts of my cheek, my eyebrow bone. I'm going to tip on my nose, the bridge of my nose, and my Cupid's bow. For lip today, I'm going to be using ColourPop Liquid Lip in the color LAX. And wait for it to dry. Just take some junk mail and just make it dry faster. I think we're all good now. And now I'm going to pretend like I look cute. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like comment subscribe and all that great stuff thank you guys see you in my next video